Thanks for joining us for the May 2022 survey results from the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer. The barometer plummeted sharply this month to a reading of 99 from last month's 121, as producer sentiment really turned quite negative this month. The index of current conditions fell, as did the index of future expectations. Current conditions actually fell 26 points from a month ago, while the future expectation index fell 21 points from a month earlier. To better understand the change in sentiment that took place this month, it's useful to take a look at one of the underlying questions we use each month to compute the barometer index. One of those questions is, would you say that your farm operation today is better off, worse off, or about the same financially compared to a year ago? And notice how the percentages changed in May versus what they were in April. The percentage of people responding worse off jumped from 38% last month to 54% in May, while the percentage saying that they were better off declined from 23% in April to just 14% in May. Some of the other questions we used to capture farmer sentiment also had sharp changes this month compared to the prior month and really reveals the change in sentiment that took place from April to May. The Farm Financial Performance Index declined again this month to a reading of 81. That's down pretty sharply from last month when it was 95. And notice how negative that Farm Financial Performance Index has been in 2022 versus where it was in 2021. January through May questions of this year, of course, refer to 2022 compared to 2021, whereas previously we were focused on 2021 performance compared to 2020. Clearly, producers are expecting worse financial performance in 2022 compared to 2021. The Farm Capital Investment Index really didn't change much this month. It dropped one point to a reading of 35 versus 36 last month. But one change was 50% of the producers this month said their purchase plans have been impacted by low farm machinery inventory levels. That compares to 41% that said that last month. And truthfully, about 40 to 42 or 3 percent has been the range of responses we've received to that question over time. So this was a more negative response with respect to the impact of farm machinery inventory levels. Despite the weak farm financial performance index rating, producers remain relatively optimistic about farmland values. The long-term farmland value index rose eight points this month to a reading of 149 compared to 141 last month. And the short-term index also rose, although it was a small movement of just one point. If you look at those, both of those indices, however, they remain significantly below where they were the last fall, suggesting farmers do think the peak might be behind us. Producers who tell us they expect to see farmland values rise over the next far, five years continue to tell us they think the number one factor influencing those farmland values will be non-farm investor demand followed by inflation. We continue to ask producers what's taking place on their farms with respect to farm input prices. 43% of the producers in this month's survey said they expect to see farm input prices in 2022 to wind up 40% or more higher than they were in 2021. Um, looking ahead to the 2023 crop season, roughly one out of five producers said that they expect to see an additional rise in those farm input prices of 20% or more. Once again this month, we asked producers what their biggest concerns are for their farming operation in the upcoming year. 43% of the producers in this month's survey said high input prices as their number one concern, followed by availability of inputs. Their third concern was lower crop or livestock prices, but it's interesting to note that high input prices is much higher ranked by producers than lower crop or livestock prices. That wraps up the highlights for this month's Ag Economy Barometer Report. You can get the full report at our website, purdue.edu slash agbarometer. And you can also get some more details on our podcast, the Purdue Commercial Agcast, which will be available on major podcast providers, as well as our website, which is purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.